वेलकम टू एलेक्ट्रिकल एंड कंट्रोल इंजीनियरिंग वी प्रोवाइड द सिमुलेशन स्पोर्ट रिगार्डिंग एलेक्ट्रिकल रिसर्च सिमुलेशन इन द फील्ड ऑफ हाइब्रिड रिन्यूएबल एनर्जी सिस्टम इन दिस केस स्टडी वी विल बी सिमुलेटिंग डिस्कसिंग एन हाइब्रिड रिन्यूएबल एनर्जी सिस्टम दैट कंसिस्ट ऑफ अ पी वी पैनल्स biogasifier a battery storage system that is connected to the grid initially the priority will be given to this renewable energy source when the renewable energy can meet the load demand then this load will be met by this renewable energy source and the extra energy will be stored in this battery storage system if still we have their extra energy then that energy will be sold to this grid utility in case when this renewable energy source energy is less than load demand then the deficient amount of power will be taken from the battery if both the battery and the pv panels the renewable energy source are not able to meet the load demand then the energy will be taken from this gasifier source if all these three sources the renewable energy source the battery storage system and the biogasifier is not able to meet the load demand then the energy will be purchased from this utility to meet this electrical load demand so first first of all in our first lecture we will be discussing the modeling of this pv panel gasifier battery bank wind and the battery storage system and in the second lecture we will be discussing the modeling Etcetera. Second and third lecture. As the our system includes the solar system, uh, the gasifier and the battery that are connected to the grid. So first of all, let's see the modeling of the solar panel and the battery storage system. So if we see the storage, uh, the modeling of the solar system, here is the P output. That's the output of the whole solar system. Uh, T S into G over G reference one plus K T T ambient minus T reference. Here P S is equal to N S into P rated. N S is the number of solar panels that will be selected by the optimization algorithm, and P rated is the power of power rated power of one solar module. In our case, it's one kilowatt. So number of solar panels will be collected by the optimization algorithm. so that the overall cost will be smaller or the realized cost of energy will be less so ps will be equal to this one g here is the solar radiation g reference here is the base condition uh, for converting the uh, radiation into kilowatt per meter square so here in our case the g reference will be 1000 to convert the watt into kilowatt 1 plus kt t ambient is the ambient temperature of that location this is the t reference uh, for which the the rating of that solar panel power is given so kt here you can see that this is the temperature of the peak power for mono or poly crystalline line actually this is equal to uh, minus 0.0037 or 34 depending on your type this may be 37 Three five three seven. Uh, this is the degradation the temperature uh, coefficient per centigrade. Means the power uh, of that solar panel is degraded with respect to uh, per centigrade temperature increase above the reference temperature. Similarly, uh, the battery system is modeled here. You can see the battery. energy can be uh, should be greater than minimum e battery and should be less than maximum storage capacity of the battery while the e battery max is number of batteries this number of batteries will also be selected by the optimization algorithm uh, to make sure that the overall cost of the system is smaller to minimize the system cost or the energy generation cost so e battery capacity is a single uh, Uh, single battery capacity. What is the energy storage capacity of a single battery? In our case, this is one kilowatt hour. 
So minimum will be uh, minimum battery energy will be the one minute depth of discharge. DOD depth of discharge. The minimum allowable uh, capacity that battery can be discharged. So for a charging scenario, how the battery energy storage energy at time t will be given. So this is the equation for that one. This the E battery t minus one is the previous energy of a battery plus the energy, this is the energy increase of a battery. So this is actually E re, uh, Re means the renewable energy minus the load demand. So after meeting the load demand, this will be multiplied by the battery efficiency. So it will be added to the battery. So that will be the new energy of the battery. The, this, this equation will be implemented. This will be the margin of the energy in case of charging. When there is a sufficient energy available, for charging of the battery. Similarly, for discharging of the energy, when there is a, a deficient amount of energy to meet the load demand, so in that case, there should be minus. So the energy will be, uh, the battery new energy at time t will be previous energy minus the deficient amount of power that has to be provided to the load. So E load minus inverter efficiency minus E renewable energy that is uh, provided by the renewable energy sources. So that will be the deficient amount of power. So the load demand minus renewable, that is the deficient. That cannot be met by the renewable. So that deficient amount of energy, uh, if the battery has that capacity, so that amount of energy will be discharged, will be distracted from this battery and it will be reduced, its energy will be reduced.